Evening everyone and welcome back to Haunted Scouse. Our Halloween week continues and we are outside and we are in another fantastic location on the Wirral and another graveyard. And when we were here last time, we had some phenomenal evidence, didn't we mate? We did, I mean what I'll do, I'll just drop a little bit of that in now for you to watch and some of you might not have seen it before. If you come through and tell us your name. William. Wow. Oh my God. Look at that, it's happened again. Charles. Charles. And hey, Charles. Oh my God. <laughs> no way. You've literally just shone on there? Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, tell that once. Margaret. Margaret. I'm pointing my camera at a grave. Am I Margaret? pointing at one that says Margaret? Oh, mate, it is. <laughs> Margaret. I mean, what's the odds? We've had William, we've had Charles, and we've had Margaret. Well, yeah, so we have earmarked that same spot. We've made sure we know where all our uh, all our friendly spirits are still laid to rest. And yeah, we will be going back over there later on. So come along with us and we investigate Rake Lane Cemetery. So yeah, we're back outside guys and as we uh, as we promised you, something a bit different this this right through the winter. But for Halloween we, we did promise you that we were gonna try and have as many episodes as we could. The idea for this one tonight is that you are in the moment with us. Almost like a live episode, so there'll be very little editing in this, which I made up for. But um but yeah, that's the whole idea. If something happens whether we get disturbed or whether it's activity, you guys are right there with us. Yeah, and I mean, obviously coming back here as well and walking around, forgetting how, first of all, how amazing the location is. First of all, how big it is and vast it is. I completely forgot, mate, uh, in terms of where we were, because we were looking for that pathway before and it took us about 20 minutes, didn't it? It but, did. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's pitch black. There's a full moon out. It's Halloween, it's spooky season, so um, yeah, hoping for a good one tonight, and if not, well, that's just sort of the way the cookie crumbles, but um, I'm just made up to be back outside and, you know, doing sort of how Haunted Scout started, so yeah, yeah, let's go on a, a little look and go and explore the place. Getting a moody shot of you walking and I forgot, you yeah, know, I need to follow you. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, where we are now, we're just obviously approaching the church and we're near sort of the main entrance, but just to the side um, is the is the bus stop um, by the main entrance. And in that corner where we'll go in a little bit is where a lot of the stories of Rake Lane and why it's sort of haunted and what is paranormal about the place is people that are sat in that bus stop outside of the cemetery feel like cold hands being like wrapped around the neck or on the shoulder. So I'd be quite interested to maybe do an S-Box or do something in and around that part to maybe pick up and see who or what that could be. But um, that is one of the main sort of hauntings of, uh, of Rake Lane Cemetery on the Whittle. So yeah, um, I mean, it might just be my hands wrapping around Chris's neck. But, uh, <laughs> and, 
It's not very nice, is it? Hey. On cue there, there's losing twos. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that was the ambulance. He's already called it. Although what he's forgot is I'm driving tonight, so if he does that, he's walking home, and it's a long way to his house from here. This might be on the hot side, isn't it? Because you have to sort of get back and just to, you know, all the other elements of fireworks and yeah, police cars and ambulances and obviously people as well. So. Um, I mean, in terms of where where we are, we haven't really seen anyone for a good half hour, 40 minutes, so we're pretty sort of confident that no one's walking about the cemetery at, at this yeah, time of exactly. night. Yeah, so. exactly. Although we wish you the press record earlier on because you know, we did nearly get attacked by a little sausage dog. <laughs> <laughs> Came running up, giving it the welly and then ran away. Yeah. But there is somewhere, it's behind us somewhere. Where's it gone? There it is. There is a very much a full moon tonight as well and that gives us a chance to test a little theory of we'll give a shout out to, to Andy Guy here from the Paracon came up with a brilliant theory with it over so like over 500 investigations and he correlated it with the the cycle of the moon mm. and found out that a full moon tended to mean less activity and we filmed somewhere else last week with a half moon yeah which seems to lend a bit of weight to that uh, that theory, yeah. but let's hope tonight just puts that little spanner in the works because if nothing else, last time we were here it was a full moon and we all know what happened. Okay, was it this one? It was, the, was it the next one, wasn't it? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. As you can see, trying to set scenes up there, and um, we've already got a bit of REM pod activity. So, do you think this one a bit further back here then? Yep. So, move this one further back. Or that, or have it. I don't know, we either just like up there. Yeah. Because obviously that's where we were sort of there, weren't we? And then I'm pretty sure where that REM pod is now <coughs> is where we had it. It'll be interesting to see this sort of. If there is someone there by that red light, can you stand there for a little bit longer? Thank you, but can you maybe step away and just move towards us, please? It's almost like Morse code. Oh, yeah. I mean, is that, have you changed the battery, have you? No. Oh. <coughs> oh, he does that. <laughs> Do that last time. <laughs> it did, didn't it? Uh -huh. 
That literally, guys, that's why we've come straight back here. That, and I'll cut to a quick scene. That, well, I'll just, yeah. I thought, <laughs> I don't even know where to point. I know. <laughs> this is the downfall of having a one camp mm -hmm. episode, but. So, you know, I edged back again there, and that's just stopped. Okay. okay. <laughs> that was an interesting couple of minutes, anyway. It was. Thank you. Well, I think we'll go and... But you moved away again. Yeah. Away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now that one, okay. Well, I don't even know what, what to, <laughs> where to begin. I just didn't think it, well, obviously, what we've yeah. done would, would work as well, but they are literally bouncing from one to another. And, yeah. You know. I think if you pass me that and you put mm. a bit of talker on now, mate. Yeah. And the reason I'm saying that about spirit talker, guys, we're not, you've seen, you've watched us for long enough, we are not ignoring this activity here, or potential activity, we will say. But this is kind of what happened last time, but Adam was the one that held the spirit talker last time. And we got the names, so Adam's just going to set out a few more bits of kit. And again, <laughs> he goes near it, and it's like it's like the spirit moved away. We we can't set that up. Oh, see, we can't set that up anyway. We're not we're not clever enough to do anything like that. Oh, was that just rolled up? Yeah. No, you're right. That's a case on new scene. Right, three, two, one, or whenever you're ready. <sighs> yeah, I mean, obviously, with what's been going on, trying to to, to set it up, I put a few more cap balls out, um, and then I think, yeah, we'll just go straight in. We'll go for a spirit talker, and then yeah. fingers crossed. Obviously, where we are. We want names again, and hopefully with the certain names that we're, we're wanting that might um, that might come out again, because it seems to be that the same activity is happening again, isn't it, on this pathway? So we'll uh, we'll hit Spirit Talker, and then we'll just start um, start calling out and seeing seeing what's what. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, at the moment we have. Maybe we peek the interest over towards us. What, what else are we up to? So, if there is anybody here with us now, um, there's a device in my hand that you can use to maybe have a conversation with us. You can choose a word. Maybe you could give us your name or tell us something about you or where we are. There's devices on the floor that you may have already been interacting with as you've been walking around. They've got Stay right here. Stay, right, Stay here. right here. Okay. okay. I mean, that's why we have come back here, especially to this this spot. So, is there a reason why you want us to stay here? Oh. Colton. 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 That was the that was strange. Obviously, the camera wouldn't have captured it, but it genuinely. It genuinely seemed like I just saw like a, a figure about six rows in just walking 
through the graves. It might just be in a trick of the eye. I mean, that's why I, say, I try not to wear my glasses, but I couldn't be bothered to poke myself in the eye with contacts. So there's a lot of, uh, it's a lot of big graves as well, isn't there? Yeah. It's all gravestones, so I can't play a trick on it. <clears throat> okay, so maybe you could tell us where we are, or maybe give us a year that maybe you passed. My name's Adam and this is Chris. Hi. We don't mean any harm, we don't mean any disrespect. You perhaps maybe walk along the pathway like you were before. Maybe go towards some of our equipment and light it up just to let us know that you're here. And we will look for the any graves with Colton mm. on them as well. Guys, we just don't want to spend don't provoke us. Okay, well we don't mean to provoke, that's not why we're here. We're here out of respect. Could have sworn I just heard footsteps. If you're near us, can you maybe make a noise? If you want to communicate with us? Try and tap on one of the gravestones. It's interesting that uh, REM pods have just calmed down. I, I literally was just thinking yeah. the same thing, yeah. It's like a surge, and then again, it's just calm. Daddy. Are there any children here? <clears throat> if there are, maybe you'd like to come and play with some of the equipment that we've got on the floor. We've got some objects that light up. Yeah. 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 Okay. You could give us a year. Maybe a year that was significant to you. To say, I thought, kick the cap ball then and still manage it. And I might have said, well, we'll find the four cap balls to put down and kick one. <clears throat> you maybe. Many. 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 Most yeah. definitely. Where we are, there is. There is many. <laughs> The land is sacred. The land is sacred. I mean, suppose it's a it's a cemetery. I'm buried close by. Wow. Okay. I'm buried close by. I'm buried close by. Wow. Okay. okay. Perhaps you can tell us where. I mean, obviously we've got Colton and we've got Daddy as well. So yeah. you know. Exposed. Exposed. Mm. Well, I hope not. <laughs> We're looking at um, potentially something there that we can sort of look around. And then yeah. Go. Perhaps you can tell us what happened to you. <laughs> Maybe give us a direction as to where you are. Maybe describe something that's near you. Perhaps you can walk towards this red light. You'll see that's exactly what that device does. It just lights up to let us know that you're there. We have eyes on you. <laughs> we have eyes on you. Interesting. Perhaps you're just watching us from somewhere. Maybe you don't want to communicate. My name is Joseph. 
Joseph. Joseph, okay. okay. We've got a name. Now we got Lungs. Lungs. See, my name is Joseph as well. Not just Joseph. We got a full. That's what my name is. Wow. Okay, guys, so. Yeah, I see that. My name is Joseph. So if you take the torch off, mate, no, it's okay, that'll pick it up without the torch. So. Now, if you turn the camera back around, you'll see, I mean, the REM pods are there. And obviously, that's where. Um, yeah. That's where we were. And my name is, my Joseph, name is Joseph. I'm buried nearby. Yeah. I mean, lit. Nope. Oh, hello. I don't know which one that was. <laughs> Hopefully, the sound was carried, picked up yeah. on there, then, guys. They keep secrets here. Okay. If you just walk past our device, can you do that again and light it up? Oh, it was that one. And light it up. Oh, it was that one. Thank you. Are you wanting us to go down there? Zoom's not pushing it up. Okay, we'll just, walk yeah. down towards you. Thank you, Joseph, and if that is you, please keep interacting. You helped me. Help me. Oh. That one, no. I'm curious of that as well. It's what? I'm just curious of what? 9 o'clock. Just curious of what? Yeah, same here. Thank you. So he wants us to come down here then for a reason. something that he wants to show us or tell us, do for us. Water. 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 What did you hear? It seemed like it was like a dog sleeve or something, or like a jingle or something. I thought it was something new moving, something. No, it was over there. It was like, do you know, say like a cat toy? Yeah. And like a bell on the inside. That's what I heard, so then I'm thinking, is there something on a grave? Once again, we could see torchlight and hear some voices, but as we said at the start guys, 
we want you to see the reality of filming outside so we've left this bit in Gonna pause this a sec. Pause that. So, obviously, one of the things about being outside and obviously trying to do this as live is there's always going to be something or potentially someone else in and around. And what's just happened there is two potentially young, younger lads that were messing about have sort of walked in whilst we were obviously in the middle of that a little bit further up. So when we come to obviously cut because we didn't know who it was before, maybe they were just paying the respects or whatever. Um, we put the torch on and it sort of scarpered, but the last word out the spirit talker was stupid. <laughs> so, you know, maybe the spirits were there and clearly saying, yeah, we've got some stupid people here, so. <laughs> um, sense of humour. But, I mean, yeah, just obviously before that, um, you know, because we do want to, we well, obviously we've got quite a fair bit to see anyway, and, and yeah. a few bits to walk around. We don't want to spend all our time here, but I think it does go to show this one part of uh, Rake Lane Cemetery is just phenomenal for yeah, activity. Yeah, exactly. And the noise as well, just before it, I don't know what that was. I generally thought it was a, a dog walker or something, or a dog's collar, but it was like a bell or something when it said water. But it was definitely over that direction, so maybe. And down, down there, yeah, exactly. Time. I mean, even though we only got that, we only got one name, and right next to us, yeah. and then that one name, I am buried close by. I think we got yeah, something yeah. like that, and and then the REM pods kicked off again yeah. after being quiet while we were using yeah. the spirit talker. That's the best thing about that. We've started off by, again, we're going to show this as live as we can. Yeah. Um, you know, without you know, without the boring bits that unfortunately you channel members will still get in your extended episode. But as it's happened just like last time, you know, the episode made itself. Yeah. So well, yeah, we'll uh, we'll move forward a little bit I think and see more of this fantastic cemetery. Let's go. <coughs> Let's play Find the Cat Ball with tonight's host, Chris. Just introducing everyone to our new game, Find the Cat Ball. There it is. Ah! <laughs> yeah, he's in the rough. Oh God, yeah. I mean, we'll film a bit as we walk along, guys, because all we're doing as we're walking along, but seeing, trying to see where we near a Colson, a Colton, because I'm buried nearby. You know, Joseph was. But what I'll do, I'll spin you guys round because you want to see the creepy graveyard. You did pick both around pods up then, didn't you, mate? Yeah. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to find somewhere where we can do the S-Box. Um, but we have just been speaking about it. It's like, this is taking us back to when we used to do the lives. Yeah. And we did the lives on our own as well. <laughs> and it's okay. And then you put the S-Box on and you really don't know what's going on around you and then you turn it off and you've got to stay in the mode for you guys yeah. all watching live but at the same time your bottom's going <laughs> it's definitely the worst thing about being outdoors and, and doing an s-box because it just drowns everything else out and you're so in tuned in that moment listening to that noise that you forget you know joe blogs would be walking up to you and yeah it's uh gets you on edge though doesn't it so that's what that's what we want to do so yeah, yeah. But I think this yeah. is suitably spooky, mate. Right? So what do we think, guys? Does that look nice and spooky for the next box? I think it does. Yeah, that's a good shot. Huh? Yeah. 
There's a few boxes in here somewhere. Oh, I'm starting to feel a little bit chilly now. Chris is regretting not bringing the big coat. Oh, roasting. <laughs> Torching you on me. What? I'm torching you on me. I know, but it's like a woman's handbag, this <laughs> ball bag. It's, everything just disappears, man. Keys to the mansion. Kinda got them that far. Keys to the summer house. Keys to the cottage. <laughs> Keys to the timeshare in Key West. So yeah, that's all we've got time for for tonight guys, so uh, thanks for tuning in, we'll see you on the next one. And I'll Let's be, go. this is getting worse than a woman's handbag, this thing. Yes, you can leave your comments underneath for that. <laughs> I'm not scared. <laughs>
Can you see how many of us there are? It's a camera. It's it, it's difficult doing an S box in a graveyard because it's it's open and it's mm. it's it, you know when you're in somewhere like a Bidston Hill or Bidston Court Gardens or even on my side Walton Woods, Allerton Towers, it's so much easier when you're kind of trying to tap into the history of the location rather than the potential spirits that might be here or maybe just a loved one that used to come and visit somebody here. Again, I think for, for this one guys I think just a little short burst on that because again we, we just want to we want to push through this like we're like we're, we're, we're live <clears throat> and there's the fireworks <laughs> yeah um, obviously I come on camera and that's what happens isn't it fireworks <laughs> so yeah I think maybe if we uh, we'll just have a have a full walk round, we'll put the spirit talker on maybe yeah. and just see if anyone wants to sort of follow us, talk to us as we go through and then um, yeah we'll see where that takes us. Yeah, come on. Getting cold now. I'm gonna brave it out to the end of this episode guys with no hat and I'm not putting my hood up. <laughs> But the next time you see me, because we are filming another episode tonight, we're going to, uh, it's a school night as well. This is what we do for you in the lead up to Halloween. It's, uh, yeah, we are going to film another one where I will have a hat on. <laughs> so we're back on with Spirit Talker, mate. Yeah, so we're back on. Obviously, we'll just do a bit of calling out. And obviously, if there is anybody that does want to follow us around or talk to us or communicate with us, you can use this device in my hand. Maybe you're buried here, or maybe this is a place that you used to come. Wanker. <laughs> Wanker? <laughs> <laughs> wow, <Leak. laughs> Yes. Well, we're in Thank policy, you. aren't we? <laughs> Did you mean Chris? <laughs> Unbelievable, oh, that, that isn't it? That literally is my highlight of doing Haunted Scouse. <laughs> Well, safe to say it's the first time that's ever come out. Um, <laughs> a few minutes has happened to me, so... Well, thank you, <laughs> or should I say, you. <laughs> okay. Oh, that is literally... That is literally the best thing that's ever happened on Haunted Scouts. <laughs> is there anything else you'd like to say? Dare I ask? There's only one place where we've had that kind of profanity, and obviously it will be back and Ed as well. And now we come to Wallasey and starts doing all that. So, yeah, lovely place to wear. Honestly, don't don't let uh, the spirits put you off visiting it. <laughs> the best thing is though, and and, and I just I, I'm pretty sure the camera was like right on your face, but it was how stunned you were when it came <laughs> out. It was like proper offended. <laughs> so now it's just like sort of disappeared. So. Mm. Thanks for that. We'll carry on, shall we? Let's sit and talk. Well, no, because you just caught me. <laughs> <laughs> Again, obviously you don't sort of know what where we are or what's sort of coming through, but um, yeah, clearly that was someone who didn't want to speak to us, and then you've got someone who does want to speak to us. So well, We're not going to sit because we haven't got too much time, but if you do want to follow us around, you're more than welcome to. Yeah, we would love to talk to you. You can tell us your name, maybe where you are. Maybe you can make a noise. Maybe you can tap on something, or bang on something, or throw something. Maybe even give us a direction where we should go.
still fuming. <laughs> oh, I just can't wait to see the comments when <laughs> that episode goes out. Yeah, not do much for me, uh, for me street cred, that does it. <laughs> mugged off. If anyone does want to come and talk, there's a device in my hand. You can tell us your name, maybe give us a year that you passed over or a direction as to where you are. And maybe you could tell us what's behind them. me over there. Fatal. Fatal. Oh, pretty much is, isn't it? Mm. Maybe you can tell us what happened to you. Apologies if there's any wind on the microphone here, guys. I've got no idea if there is until we actually edit. Nelly. Nelly. That's an old name. Yeah. And again, obviously, you know, the whole whole episode isn't going to be us sort of looking for, for certain names, but if one comes out, we've got to sort of look nearby, haven't we, to see. Because it, uh, when we do get names in, in Rake Lane, it does seem to be uh, on graves nearby. Thank you, we're glad you're a friend. We're expecting to see life. Uh, I don't know, Joe, like a, like a, an inverted commas type Nelly, like it was sort of a nickname. Yeah, because like it's, it's Helen, isn't it, Nelly? I'll just point out by the way, remember when we started Haunter Scouts and every time we were in Liverpool, sirens were going and he was like, oh, I don't get this on the whittle. Say there's a fire station nearby, so. <laughs> Can't see any smoke, mate, I'm just saying. Oh, sorry, nudging into you. That's the other thing with coming back outside as well, we just walk into each other all night. I mean, if nothing else, it's uh, when you look through the older gravestones, guys, they're just very atmospheric. New matter. It said what? New matter. New matter. Thank you. Oh, cat ball. <laughs> Faithfulness. Um, I think if we go, well, we started there, didn't we? Yeah. So I think if we just, if we carry on down here. Yeah. They're all out here tonight. <laughs> it's not fireworks, it's sirens. And, and in all honesty, obviously, we hope wherever they are going that people are okay. I think they're just trying to rush home to watch the episode, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Nelly, are you still here with us? Scroll. 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 Not scroll. <laughs> scroll. Scroll. <laughs> scroll. <laughs> like you walk through a cobweb or something. Yeah. And obviously I'm looking up now and thinking how is that possible because it's not that. No cobwebs. <laughs> well yeah I thought we were under a tree or something but you know. Is there someone nearby maybe? It's strange with the, we were walking past these graves earlier on guys and it's strange how the look how overgrown they are. Mm. Compared to like on this side, you're so well kept, and then 
very much overgrown. Fish. I don't know if that's gonna come come back with some funny stories, but I was looking for more of a um, was like a grave that might have been like a stroll or something potentially. Yeah, I'm with you. Mm. <clears throat> we are gonna leave soon, but if there is anybody that does want to come and talk to us, why don't you maybe come and tell us something about you or who you are through this device? won't do you any harm, it just allows us to have a conversation. Maybe if you're near here, you can give us your name. Perhaps you lived nearby or you were local to Wallasey or New Brighton. Maybe even you were buried here after a war. I'm an angel. I'm an angel. Oh, okay, and we just walked past on there, mm -hmm. a little bit further down. So. This isn't one next to us here as well, is it? Yeah, yeah, that's an angel, yeah. I'm an angel, what's the name? Dorothy. But I mean, we're right next to that one. Is it, are we talking to Dorothy? Or John or Eleanor? find your name in this device. Oh my god. No way. Look what we found. Nelly. <laughs> Nelly. I'm an angel. Wow. <laughs> Mate. What are the chances that? <laughs> We just walked back up because it said I'm an angel uh -huh. and it's Nelly. I'm afraid for you. I'm afraid for you. Wow. Please don't be, but I mean, we're just stunned because I can't believe that. Of all the names to be on that. Yeah. Fight. <laughs> Fight. Fight. Well, there will be if you call him yeah. a wanker again. <laughs> we have all the names to be on that grave. Yeah. And again, there was only potentially two that we were looking at only because it said I'm an angel. Yeah. And Nelly, wow, <laughs> that that that's that's unbelievable. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Nelly. I'll just get another shot of the. It's a bell to this place, isn't it? Almost the bell. Like pulling names and encouragement. encouragement in terms of pulling things out and again I know people are going to knock the spit of talk and they'll say this and they'll say that but there's no way yeah. we can put certain names in there and yet you know that's two two names yeah in fact that we've only had two names have we yeah we've had uh, I mean obviously Colton wasn't it Colton is more Which of a surname, surname but then we had yeah. Joseph Joseph and then and Nelly yeah. and I'm an angel so we've walked past her yeah and she's called us back to let us know exactly where to find her. There. And that's, that's just unbelievable. It is. Well, thank you, Nelly, if that was you. And we hope you're at peace wherever you are. And thank you for communicating, if it was you. But uh, we'll leave you be now. But... <laughs> yeah, wow. Exactly. Say, Rake Lane. It definitely delivers you know as I said whatever you want to say about that we can't put certain names in and if we were you'd be going for your Williams and Stevens yeah. and Margaret's exactly. maybe potentially the common names but Nelly 
like I said on camera, you know, it's more of a like an inverted nickname or something yeah, or exactly. an affectionate name. And then yeah, just oh, swap arms. And brilliant. But, but yeah, what we'll do because we're nearly obviously finishing off now, so we'll carry on walking through. We'll keep this on just in yeah. case. And then, um, but yeah. that that's that's fantastic yeah. to be called back for that. Yeah. Yeah, honestly. Wow. Thank you so much, Nelly. Thank you. <coughs> oh, fuck me. I mean, again, when we're on on time and straight, it seems to uh, <coughs> it seems to um, at least deliver, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. <coughs> and that's the thing. It's like we're not forcing the issue. This genuinely is. If this was alive then you guys are just going to have to put up with the boring bits in between mm. while we walk around, but you get the reward. And just like anything, like being on an event, it goes quiet and then we'll have five minute bursts of brilliance. And that, mm. that that's been well worth the cold head. <laughs> and, you know, the runny nose walking around. I mean, the good thing is that, that you carried on walking down to there, because yeah. I was kind of like, I'm an angel and we're here and there's one there, but then you've gone to there and we found Nelly. Yeah, it's a curiosity, you can just tattoo. Well. She will harm you. Mm, okay. Oh, she will harm you, great. <laughs> I'm talk to you, I think. <laughs> I'm just hoping that something comes out of that now that uh, we might have to bleep. If not, I'll just throw a, a bleep machine in just to say, yeah, we couldn't uh, air that word because it was. He doesn't like you. There you go. He doesn't like you. Yeah. He does really, you know. <laughs> I know he was being nasty then and he wants you to call me names, but, you know, you know I'm the nice Olivia. one. Olivia. Okay, so again. And again, we will walk and talk, guys, but. like the anticipation now because you know we're not always going to get it but yeah exactly it's, but you are just kind of yeah. curious now and as we said i mean we walked uh, just round the corner we were in the vicinity like of of nelly so it's not to say that one of these or i mean we're only looking on the edges as well aren't we so no yeah, doubt exactly. if we we're not really yeah you know, Well, I'm from Liverpool. And I'm local, I'm Birkin Headway. So you must know or have heard of that. If you're here. Did you live over here? Decay. Oh, I thought I'd said something else then. <laughs> <laughs> I heard the D. Well, decay. <laughs> Cemetery. Unfortunately, that's the reality yeah. of, of what's around us. Although there is also an allotment there, <laughs> and a and a yeah. scarecrow. <laughs> is there anything else you want to tell us before we get to the end? Strange how you come out the shadow of the tree off the moon yeah. and it brightens up so much. Mm. Obviously for you guys it looks the same and here but for us. Am I dead? Am I dead? Mm. Wow. Unfortunately you are. Can you hear our Hi. voice? How are you? I'm fine, thank you. I hope you're not in pain anymore where you are. Do you think I'm real? We do, that's why we're here. You can notice, maybe prove to us. Notice how polite they are to me, by the way. <laughs> you know, how are you? Can you show yourself? Maybe the moonlight will give you enough energy to to 
to be able to materialise for us to see. I mean, just for us guys, it's that moon is so bright on across the whole graveyard. Do you know that you've passed over? First part of something, or is that a? It's what, sorry, mate. I was thinking, is that a first part of something? Is there going to be yeah. another number after it, or is one what? There's just one of you around here. Would you help? What would you need help with? We will help if we can. We are going to go now. Is there anything else you'd like to say before we go? Do you have one last message for anyone? I'm going to count to five and then I'm going to turn this off. One, two, three. I have many regrets. Well, hopefully now, now you're in the afterlife, hopefully you can forgive yourself for your regrets. But we will be going now, so Hopefully we can yeah. come back sometime, young. Definitely not talking to us there, mate. <laughs> well, I'm gonna stop this, guys. I mean, wow. Honestly, you, it took so long to come back to Rake Lane Cemetery, but, you know, in the back of your mind, you're thinking we're never gonna beat what we got last yeah. time, but, wow, to even be on par with it, if not better it, is just phenomenal, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. We tried to start off in the same location, just curiosity, just to see, and you saw with the REM pods yeah. back and forth between them. And then we might have only got one name, but it was still relevant, but we tried to kind of move around and give, give the rest of the spirits an opportunity, but yeah, what a night. Definitely, and obviously one spirit in particular did seem to want to come forward and make herself known, and that was Nelly, so... Uh, again, it's just it's, it's paid off, and again, the bit of apprehension about coming back outside is because we've got a lot of sort of extenuating circumstances to deal with. But it's definitely sort of you know perked my interest a bit more to get yeah. get onto the next place that we're going to go. So, um, but yeah, I mean, thanks for obviously watching. It's very very different this Halloween uh, week, but we hope you're obviously enjoying it as well. Yeah, exactly. We've. We haven't put as much out as we wanted to in October for you guys, but 
we know you appreciate what we do put out but we have been busy filming there's lots more to come right through until the end of this year but yeah i think for this one we're going to finish off because we've got to go and jump back in the car and go to another location because we are going to spoil you this week but uh, but yeah if you have enjoyed it please hit the subscribe button please consider the channel memberships to buy some new hats for me um yeah and i mean i'm gonna take this wanker somewhere different now <laughs> yeah and obviously thanks for watching and uh fingers crossed wherever we go next they're gonna be a little bit more polite to me <laughs> but you're only gonna find out unless you watch so uh make sure the notification bell's on and we'll see you on the next one yeah take care guys see you soon to that he's a wanker he's a wanker <laughs> Brilliant that. Willy Wanker, Willy Wanker. <laughs> Hope Baldy comes out in the next one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to get him a t shirt made with a wanker. <laughs>